when I decided to make an extended version of The Skies We Look To because I had, I had some songs that I really wanted to include, but I wrote them later and I didn't want to wait on the initial release. So I decided to do an extended version and add a couple of new songs and a couple of uh, alternative versions of the songs that were on it initially. And I wanted to have this overture, which is the first track. If you've seen old movies or musicals, oftentimes there is a score that is kind of a medley of all of the different um, songs or musical themes in the film or theater piece or whatever. I really liked that idea. I grew up, you know, watching my grandparents' Rodgers and Hammerstein movies and, and obviously in theater and stuff. So I like the idea of doing that with my album. So I asked Ashley Ng, beautiful cellist, if she could do it for me. And she actually arranged the whole thing. I gave her the songs, I told her, you know, the order and everything, and she arranged the melodies to play on cello and the transitions between the songs. It's amazing. People who are classically trained who can do this, I admire them so much. And then we came to the studio. Actually, we weren't even in the studio together, which would have been awesome. Uh, we had to do it over Zoom because of COVID. Her husband was there. He was able to do the engineering because he, that's what he does. And um, he's also a musician, Caleb Connor. We were going back and forth, listening and playing and giving notes for, I think it was like 11 hours. Ashley is a champion of endurance and playing. And it turned out even better than I imagined. And it's all her. It has all of the songs from the initial release of The Skies We Look To in order. Actually, I had this idea before Bridgerton came out, but then Bridgerton had become really popular and they used that concept of basically like a string quartet or orchestral versions of pop songs. And it sort of reminded me of that. It felt very much like that, but it's all her. It's all Ashley playing all of the parts. And I'm just so incredibly amazed and grateful and thankful to her for doing that and making my vision come true. You can listen to it on the extended version of The Skies We Look To.